Jonathan Turley joining us now, George Washington University law professor, constitutional law attorney, and Fox News contributor. Uh, Jonathan, I'll get your reaction after telling our audience who may just be tuning in. Steve Bannon has been found guilty on both counts. Uh, the jury just reaching this verdict a short time ago. Count one, willful failure to appear for testimony, guilty. Count two, willful failure to provide records, guilty. Your reaction? Well, this was one of the most predictable uh, convictions I've seen in, in my career of, uh, as a legal analyst. I mean, the, the reason you could predict this outcome is very simple, that he didn't put on a defense and he didn't show up to sure the what? Congress. Uh, he didn't uh, present any witnesses, and now he's going to go on appeal. Presumably, he'll have more to say there. But he did not sure have a viable defense. He was not a government official to even make a... Uh, a substantial claim of privilege. Uh, but also, at, at the time, many of us said, you're making a huge mistake. You know, you should show up in Congress. You can always take the, the, your Fifth Amendment protections, uh, the privilege against self-incrimination. Plenty of witnesses do that. Uh, but you should show up. Uh, he decided, basically, that he would thumb his nose at Congress and that he would go his own way. Well, you can't. And this is a very rare uh, prosecution. The last prosecution, I think, was in 83. The last conviction, as you noted, was uh, long before then. Uh, it is unlikely that he's going to receive much, if any, jail time. The minimum is 30 days. Uh, the judge has some, uh, dis obviously, a discretion, particularly in allowing these to run concurrently. Uh, which is what I would expect. You know, he can he can send someone consecutively so they finish one sentence before they start the next sentence. This is something that would normally be done concurrently, so any sentence runs at the same time. So, Jonathan, I'm just looking back at, at G. Gordon Liddy, who is, according to Chad Pergram, the last person, along with the former Attorney General Richard Kleindienz, to be convicted of this. Uh, he received a six-month sentence, but it was suspended in one year's probation. And then prior to that, William P. McCracken was the last person to be in prison for contempt of Congress. That was 88 years ago in 1934. So what you, how would you game out the chances here that when sentencing happens on October 21st at 3 p.m., uh, Bannon does jail time? I think it's unlikely that he does anything but a relatively short time in jail at most. Uh, part of the problem here is the shortness of this period. He was saying he wanted to go to court to challenge this, uh, and they moved very quickly towards this charge. Hmm. Okay. Um, so we are getting some word here, sentencing schedule, sometime late October time frame, we're being told right now. Yeah, October 21st. October 21st at 3 p.m., sentencing Memorandum, October 14th. Bannon is to report to the probation office before leaving. Okay, that's just some of the details we're, readout that we're getting right now. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.